Hello, today's presentation is using LastPass, ProtonPass, or Ignite Password Vault. This is going to be a quick introduction to using Password Vault. It's very important to use these when you have multiple online accounts because it can definitely protect your accounts when you can use complex passwords for each online service and not duplicate your passwords across the board. So why use a password vault? The reasons are simple. You need strong, unique passwords for each of your online accounts. Otherwise, the chances they'll get hacked by some attacker are much higher risk. If your passwords aren't strong or if they use information like your spouse's name, birth year, home address, then the attacker can guess them. And if you use the same password for different sites, for example, when some big company gets hacked like they do all the time, your passwords are basically available online for anyone to grab. Then they use them to try to get into your accounts, like your email, online banking, Amazon, etc. Password managers remove both of these problems by generating and storing complex passwords for you. The password manager lives in your browser and acts like a digital gatekeeper, filling in your login info when you need to get on a certain site. You just have to remember one very secure master password for the manager itself, and everything else is taken care of for you. You can install uh, browser plugins, they have mobile apps, so you can get it you know, on whatever device you're on. Make sure to use 2FA as well. We recommend LastPass, ProtonPass, or our very own at IgnitePros.com. But of course, using LastPass or ProtonPass are a lot more secure. Always use passwords longer than 12 plus characters. That just makes the password that much harder to crack from the attacker. Do not use any of your personal information, such as birthdays, phone numbers, home addresses, in your password. Do not use the same password twice anywhere. And use a trusted password vault to store your passwords, whether that be LastPass, ProtonPass, or another site you might find. I know those are the usually the top two that are out there right now. I hope this video was helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.